Today on Kingdom News, beautiful moment Enoch movie crew meets Pastor Adeboye and wife, Pastor Folu Adeboye. Stop forcing Christian agenda on us in your movie, Man Tells Mount Zion Films. Pastor Ifeanyi Adefaras celebrates mom at 80. Pastor Paul and Nencha shares encounter with the devil. Seva claimed husband of popular Nigerian Afrobeat singer Iro Star, identified with a Twitter handle at Boy Kill, has passed its review on Recitation Movie. Recall that Monzaian Faith Ministries had earlier released a latest movie titled Recitation on YouTube. Shortly after 30 PC's movie was made available for our online audience. Following the release of Recitation Movie that features the well known skit couple, Ohis and Anne Willie, popularly known as the Windows, the movie has attracted thousands of positive reviews on YouTube and many social media platforms. However, a Twitter user with the handle at BoyKill who watched the movie admitted that Recitation was a very powerful movie, but it is filled with Christian agenda. Explaining in details what it meant by Christian agenda, the Twitter user said Christian filmmakers are massively doing all they can to enforce Christianity on their audience. Joshua Mike Bamiloe, who seemed surprised by his tweet, busted into laughter, noting that the review was one of its kind and he was never prepared for that. Explaining further, as Boy Kill said, if gospel filmmakers shoot movies encouraging their audience to accept Christ, they should not be angry if Nollywood filmmakers also pack content that poses as seen in their movies. After all, they make what they both believe in. He ended his tweet by saying he has nothing against recitation movie and gospel films in general. In his words, the film was a very good fantasy movie, but I feel like there are a lot of Christian agenda in the film. Why are those people trying to force Christianity on us? I don't have a problem with them. Just don't put it in films. Many took to the comment section to rebuke him for making such statements, saying if gospel filmmakers are not promoting Christ, what should they put in their movies? To this, as Boy Kill said, believers ought to stop criticizing secular movies for promoting sin, but rather, they should support gospel movie producers to ensure Christian values are promoted. In his words, for those who don't understand what my tweet was about, I am saying when you subscribe to watch a worldly film, stop complaining they are seen in it. You signed up for it. It's all love from her. The recitation movie was brilliant and faith lifting. He said further, push for creation of more Christian movies. Support those movies and see a revival begin. But no, it is the one by non-Christians they would support and now start shouting about the sins in it. It was a moment of incredible joy as cast and crew members who worked on the multi-million Naira movie project titled Enoch met with Pastor E.A. Adeboye and the wife, Pastor Foluke Adeboye. Recall that it was previously reported that Mount Zion Faith Ministries and Solid Rock Foundation embarked on a movie project that took the crew more than six months to complete and was released on the 2nd of March. The movie Enoch chronicles the biography of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, which was written by Damlola Mike Bamluye and co-produced by Evangelist Mike Bamluye and Olua Kemi Shodende. Meanwhile, the associate director of the movie, John Oguntu Ashe, shared some photos that captured the moment the cast and crew members of the movie met with Pastor E.A. Adeboye and his wife, Pastor Folu Adeboye. Some of the cast members that were present were Abolaji Adiola, who played the role of Enoch Adeboye, Tomiwa Grace Samson, who played the role of Folu Adeboye, Victor Olukoju, who played the role of school principal, among others. However, Evangelist Mike Bamloye and his wife, Gloria Bamloye, were visibly absent at the gathering. Sharing the picture on Facebook, John Oguntu Ashi said, The encounter, everyone part of Enoch the movie is so blessed already. As a father and mother in the Lord, as Pastor Adeboye official 
and at Pastor Fulu Adeboye showered a heartfelt prayers on all cast and crew present or not in expressing their joy and satisfaction. It is always a privilege and grace to serve the Lord. As inspired by the Holy Spirit, the movie concept was initiated by Kemi Shodende, who is also the executive producer of the movie, while the story was written by evangelist Damlola Mike Bamiloye. Fuluke. Um, um, sir, can you come again? Gospel film actress Tomiwa Gracie Samson has shared her experience as a struggling actress while speaking on the need to yield one's talent to God. Tomiwa became more known after she played the role of young Folu Adeboye in the Enoch movie, a biopic of Pastor Enoch Adeboye. Speaking with Gospel Films News TV, Tomiwa shared how she started her acting career and her experience in the Nollywood industry. While recounting her experience as an aspiring Nollywood star, she said even though she was given invitations to feature in movies, she could not pay the price that was demanded which included sleeping with directors and producers. She went on to narrate how the role she was given was changed on location because she refused to sleep with the director. In her words, she said, Somebody was telling me that there is a difference between talent and hard work, that I can be talented and all, but that does not mean I will be featuring in their movies. I even got an offer to sleep with the director, to sleep with the producer, just because I was given a lead role, and when I refused, they swapped my role on the location. My role was swapped to Wakapas. She revealed that she was invited from Lagos to somewhere in the eastern part of Nigeria only to have her role swapped at location. Speaking further, she said, Right there, they called another lady. The lady came in and asked what the role was about. And one of the directors told me, This one, she go pay the price. Talent is different from hard work. The Enoch movie star then shared that it was after her last experience with Nollywood directors that she had the opportunity to join Mount Zion Films Institute through her mom who encouraged her to use her talent and gift for the glory of God. <laughs> Gospel ministers Dam Lola and Joshua Mike Pamloe have celebrated their daddy, legendary evangelist Mike Pamloe as the clock's 63. Taking to his official platforms, Damlola expressed his gratitude to his dad, saying he is proud to be his son. In his words, he said, Happy birthday to the man I am immensely proud and honored to call my father. He has taught me all the essential lessons in life and guided me in finding my purpose. He went on to describe his dad as a coach who stood by him even when he gets tired and worn out. He said, like a coach supporting the arena, he has always stood by my side. Even when exhaustion set in, his encouragement and inspiring words invigorate me to persevere. His unparalleled love for Jesus is truly admirable. Thank you, Daddy, for being the best father in the world. I love you. Meanwhile, Joshua Mike Bamloe, popularly known as J. Mikey, also penned a beautiful note to his dad as he celebrates his birthday. Describing him as an amazing dad, Joshua praised his dedication, selfless service, and love for God. In his words, he said, Happy birthday to my amazing dad. Your dedication and selfless service to God's work as well as your love for God and family is an inspiration to many. He went on to pray for his father, wishing him joy, blessings, and many more years. He said, May this special day bring you abundant joy peace and blessings wishing you good health strength and many more fruitful years ahead cheers to another year of fulfilling god's purpose in your life amen and we at god's own tv are also wishing evangelist mike bamloye a happy birthday we pray for many more years in health in prosperity in wealth and divine inspiration and 
guidance in fulfilling the purpose of God for his life. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly drop your own prayers and wishes for Evangelist Mike Bamloye in the comments section below. Bye. Gospel filmmaker Evangelist Mike Bamiloye has spent a note of gratitude to friends, family, well-wishers and lovers of Mount Zion Faith Ministries for celebrating him on his birthday. Mike Bamiloye, who celebrated his 63rd birthday on the 13th of April 2023, had family, friends and fans celebrate him specially. The father and grandpa took to social media platform Facebook to appreciate his creator for the gift of life and also went on to pray for his fans. In his words, Thank you. The greetings were many and wishes were numerous. At the 29th Annual Congress of Nansidram, which commenced on my birthday, the executive and the brethren gathered and prayed for me after cutting of cake and pictures. Many messages from brethren and friends and viewers and partners of Mount Zion Films Worldwide were sending messages and prayers. I say thank you all. May the Lord that favored me favor you too. He went on to pray for his fans and well-wishers, asking God to settle and favor them as he favored him. He said, May the Lord that kept me keep you too. May the Lord that blessed my life bless yours too. May the Lord that settles me settle you too. May the Lord that glorifies me glorify you too. May the Lord that honors me honor you too. It shall be well with you and your home and family. May you not be found wanting in heaven. May the Lord God grant you his peace. On behalf of me and my wife and family, we say thank you, Mike and Gloria Bamiloye. He gave me a deadline to leave and I just heased. Pastor Paul Eneche shares encounter with the devil. General Overseer and Founder of Dynamic Church International Gospel Center, Pastor Paul Eneche, shared a death threat he experienced directly from the devil. The cleric during today's edition of the Andy Will I Seek the program revealed how the devil threatened to take his life on a particular day. According to him, he saw the devil with green eyes sitting in his living room and on that fateful day, the devil gave him a deadline to leave. In his words, the date for our minister's conference was approaching when death came and sat down in my living room and threatened to kill me. You can imagine that audacity. The devil I saw had green eyes. He gave me a deadline to leave and I just hissed. Reacting to the threat of the devil, the man of God said that he told the devil he would not pray about it or raise an alarm by telling his wife. Rather, he went back to sleep peacefully and with all manner of conviction. He added that the date of the deadline passed and he was very much alive and not harmed in any way. In his words, the devil I saw had green eyes. He gave me a deadline to leave and I just hissed. I told the devil I thought it was something more serious. I will not pray about this and I will not tell my wife. I left him and I went to bed. I didn't see him when I woke up. The deadline he gave himself, not me, passed. Yet, I didn't die. I defeated him. Pastor Ifian Yadifara saying the wife of the senior pastor of House on the Rock Church has taken to the social media to celebrate her mom as she clocks 80 years. The mother of six became an octogenarian on Monday and her daughter celebrated her in style. Adifara Singh shared a slew of stunning pictures of her mom and sisters on social media to mark the occasion. In an accompanying caption, she said she is grateful to God for blessing her with an amazing mom. She said, blessed at 80 years old. Her children rise up and called her blessed. Quoting from Proverbs chapter 31 verse 28. Grateful to the Lord for the blessing of an amazing mother. Pastor Paul Adifarasi, her husband, also expressed gratitude to his mother-in-law for being a wonderful mother to him and his family. He said, Happy 80th birthday, Muti. I am still amazed that you have joined the League of Octogenarians because 80 has nothing on you. 
While appreciating our mother-in-law, Pastor Paul also showered her with prayers. In his words, My prayer for you today, dearest mommy, as you step into this new year and new decade, is that our Heavenly Father continues to bless and keep you, that He causes His face to shine upon you and give you His peace, that this new decade will be spent in abundance of good health, sadness of mind and strength in your body. You are the only mommy I have now on earth, and I am so grateful for the next decade with you. Thank you for being a wonderful mother to not only Ifea Yade Farasi and her sisters, but to my family and hi. We truly wish you the best of birthdays and a delightful celebration. First daughter of Pastor Paul Enenche, Deborah Paul Enenche has shared how she spent her Easter Monday and the transformation she experienced after meeting some top gospel singers. While reacting after sharing photos of herself and her husband, Deborah Elenche noted that she is happy for the things God has done for her and she revealed that she experienced a tangible shift. She also went on to share beautiful moments with gospel ministers Dosin Yoyeko, Victoria Renze and Nathaniel Bassi. In one of the moments shared, Nathaniel Bassi was seen praying for Deborah and her husband, Sam Orton. Describing the impactful moment, she said, What a night last night was. So much was poured into me that I experienced a tangible shift. I know this is just the beginning of a new dimension. Thank you so much at Silas and Jesse at Press In Now for having me and the chance to minister to God's people and more importantly, to serenade my harbor. We bless God for his mighty move. She went on to thank Nathaniel Bassi, Victoria Renze and Dosin Yoyekon for blessing her life massively. In her words, she said, Thank you at Nathaniel Blue, at Victoria Renze and at Dosin Oyekon for blessing my heart and drawing me closer to Haba in worship. Thank you more so for the deluge of blessings in prophecy and prayer poured over and into me and my husband as well. I appreciate you so much also for continually teaching us young ministers how it is done. May God continue to fill you with him in Jesus' name. The bride then went on to thank God for the platform and opportunity. She added that even though she has nothing to give, she gives herself to the Lord. Prophetess Naomi Shilekwonla, the estranged wife of the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeyi Eniton Ogozi, has spoken on the possibility of reconciling with the monarch. Queen Naomi opened up during an interview with Punch newspapers where she alluded her life in the palace as a bittersweet experience. Contrary to what many are speculating, the mother of one was quick to dismiss the rumor of reconciliation with her estranged husband. According to the prophetess, the lessons she learned in the palace are personal and they have helped in shaping her life. In her words, I am hesitant about speaking on my experiences in the palace, but in my usual way of talking, it was a bittersweet experience. Details I will not be sharing, but it was a bittersweet experience. There were really sweet moments, and there were really bitter moments. It is not yet time to talk about it, because some things are meant to just teach you by yourself. I believe the messages are just for me at the moment. When God wants to enlarge and expand on it and make it a message for the whole world, then I will hear his words and talk about it. Lessons learned are personal and they have helped in shaping me. I am enjoying 30 so much. 30 makes me really strong. I am too innocent. I think I entered the palace too innocent and soft. But life is not like that. You have to be strong bold and courageous. She however noted that there are no plans of returning to the palace to stay with six mature and strong women as she is a soft, strong and gentle woman. Naomi went on to add categorically that she is single and it will take a strong king to get her again. In her words, do I look like someone who can survive in the midst of six mature and strong women? No, she is but a soft, strong, gentlewoman and I can't be a square peg in a round hole. It's a different thing to be single 
and it is a different thing to be ready to mingle. But what I can say for sure is that I am a bride waiting to be dressed up. I don't know how God plans to do it because he is my event planner. But there is a big event waiting to happen if you are talking about that aspect of my life. Hmm. You see this queen, it will take a strong king to get me. I am single. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Dr. Paul Enenche, Senior Pastor of Dynamis International Gospel Center and his wife, Dr. Becky Enenche, are celebrating their 29th wedding anniversary. Medical doctor turned pastor Paul Enenche and Becky Enenche, also a medical doctor, got married on the 16th of April 1994 and they are blessed with four children. The couple appreciated God for the journey through 29 years with series of posts on their Instagram pages. Sharing some Sunday pictures of himself and his wife, Pastor Paul said, 29 years of divine help and mercy, friendship and mutual love, respect and joy in the Holy Ghost. The Lord caused every good thing he has helped us with to be your portion in Jesus' name. The wife also took to our Instagram page to express her love for her husband as they celebrate their 29 years together. She wrote, I love you for all that you are, all that you have been, and all that you are yet to be my favorite one. Happy anniversary to us. Dr. Paul is well known for his direct speech style. According to him, it helps people to be free and get closer to God. Dr. Paul and Encha lives together with his wife, Dr. Becky, and their children in Abuja. So, welcome to your first marriage counseling session. Let me hear your love story. Sister Endurance, brother, oh, Sister Endurance, let me hear yours first. You just got out of a CCS. Enoch movie star, Pastor Abolaji Adeola, the husband to the popular gospel content creator, Muromolu Atiketike, has posted on his Twitter page the testimony of how his wife's name opened doors for him. According to him, he was at a place where he needed to get some important documents signed by a woman. While conversing with her, Abolaji Adeola claimed to be the husband of the popular Muromolu Atiketike. To ascertain his claims, he put a video call through to his wife and he got the document signed mainly because of his relationship with Moro Molua Tiketike. In his words, Today, my wife's name opened a major door for me. The woman said, Are you sure at Moro Molua Tiketike is your wife? Next thing I did was a video call and the madam was starstruck. She then said, I'm approving this for your husband because of you. Thank you, Jesus, for my wife. Many took to the comment area to respond to the experience shared by Pastor Adiola. At All About Josh threw a shade at those looking for a wife to serve them. He said, God, I beg you, na name of wife they open the soul. Yet, some people are looking for chef that will be kneeling to serve freshly cooked meals three times a day. At Dami underscore Eunice joined others to ask for grace to bring favor to their husbands. In her words, Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of her. I key into this wonderful testimony. My name is opening doors of goodness and good tidings unto my family and loved ones in Jesus' name. Oluwa Damilola, so shall the testimony of my people be. They shall say, indeed, Oluwa Damilola, amen. Bright Kalu, who described Muromolua as his crush, expressed shock to learn the couple are married. He said, she's your wife? The she, as in the one from 30 pieces? Sir, please, no proverbs, just go straight to the point and tell me the truth, sir. Please, cause, no, no, maybe it's meme you posted. Abela Jadiola and Mura Molua got married in August 2022. Ikeja Special Offenses and Domestic Violence Court on Monday ordered the demand of a clergyman, Daniel Oluafe Europo, for allegedly raping two members of his church. The man of God, popularly known as Bishop Feiji Daniels, had predicted the 2023 presidential election and what would play out including the arrest of the winner of the election, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, by the military before inauguration. 
Olafe Europe was remanded in Kirituri Correctional Center pending the fulfillment of his bail conditions. Bishop Feyi, who is the founder of Iron Christian Ministry, was earlier arraigned on a two-count charge bordering on rape, which contravenes Section 262 of the Criminal Laws of Lagos State 2015. He was said to have committed the offence in June 2020 at Ikota Villa Estate in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. According to some reports, the two members who was accused of raping were also pastors in his church. The presiding judge, Ramon Oshodi, admitted the suspect to 20 million naira bail with two shorties in the like sum and to submit his international passport and adjourned the case till May 9. Defense counsel Olukunle Oyewole had earlier moved for the bail of his clients on liberal terms. The leading prosecution counsel, Babajide Boye, urged the court to reject the bail application, adding that the offense committed is serious. Boye posited that there is a possibility of the defendant interfering with the prosecution's witnesses. He stated that the defendant is a bishop of many branches, and if granted bail, he may use his position to influence the prosecution of witnesses, being a man of authority who has the possibility of committing the same crime. He then urged the court to deny the defendant's bill because he had failed to provide the court with exceptional circumstances to grant him bail. The suspect has, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges.